I'm so unprepared. What do I do? Is there a hurricane in the forecast? Is there a fire? Do you need to evacuate? And what do you do? Today I'm going to teach you chickens and evacuations. And how. And what to do. <laughs> Power outage cutscene. Probably like my best cutscene ever. So unprepared. That's what an unprepared person's like. A prepared person is like me. That's why during Hurricane Henri, which hit me just a few days ago, I was panicking my head off. So today I'm going to teach you what to do during chickens and evacuations. Hey guys, so I'm right now up in my studio. Now before you go out and you go panicking, just know this. That, well, first of all, ask yourself this question. What is the emergency that you're getting? Hang on, I need to clean my camera because it's so moisture up here. What is the emergency you're getting? Getting yourself into a city. Hurricane, is it a fire? Because those are two separate things that you might need mandatory evacuation for some chickens for. And those are two very dangerous things. See, if it's very dangerous, first of all, check your local guide to make sure that there are mandatory evacuations this year, so, you, so that way you should only evacuate when, uh, you should only really be evacuating when you're told to evacuate. So you check. And there's mandatory evacuations. Huh. You should always, you should always be, uh, looking at mandatory evacuations. Even, so if it says yes, even if it's localized, just do it. So what I want you to do is I want you to take some boxes, like not like the cardboard boxes like you're seeing on the screen above, but like the uh, boxes themselves, like crates with like a uh, thing on them. And I want you to uh, put your chickens in there, make sure they're washed so that way, and make sure they're clean too, so that way. And what I want you to do is then, is then I want you to go get uh, your chickens, put them in. If you have a bigger flock, what I recommend doing I recommend like taking like a little truck or something, like a truck or something, like and then put your chickens in there in the brooder if it's small enough. But then you should also separate them with uh, the things. If it's like a small flock of like less than 20 chickens, then it's simple. Just use some crates. You, crates should be your main priority here, because uh, crates are gonna be. Because well, if you don't use crates, then you're gonna basically be screwed. All right, Waldo, boxes really won't work. And uh, yeah, hurricanes and fires are pretty big. Now you're in your car and you got the air pumping like you hear, don't worry, the car's not actually on, it's just editing. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go onto your phone and you're gonna call a, like a local relative or someone, uh, make sure that they will allow chickens and then make sure that when the storm or fire or whatever you're evacuating from is done, the, make sure you leave the next day to make sure, and then make sure that you have a safe spot for your chicken. Because, well, and then there. So, the storm was pretty bad. Just first make sure that in your, if your home is damaged, make sure that first of all the air quality is good, and then like clear an area for your chickens to go forage. Because if uh, the chicken coop, if like the relatives should be outside of the area that the uh, storm or the fire is going to be in. So it doesn't matter if it's hundreds of miles or just a few miles. Just make sure they're out of the hard to hit areas. Take the chickens inside and and you might also want to be bringing a brooder. Just remember to flip it upside down and put it in a truck bed. And then also a little bit of shavings would also do good too. So yes, that's what you want. and your load when you're going to evacuate and then once you're done you return just make sure your chickens have a yard to forage and they should be okay also make sure that you're gonna be getting water from stores or anything else nearby so that way you can keep supplying them and also make sure you have some food if you possibly can go to a different town that didn't have as much damage and maybe get some food from there for your chickens also, make sure you're safe while doing this. Please don't put yourself at risk. And please follow all these steps if you didn't make it this far. Click subscribe, turn on notifications. Because, well, it's going to help me a lot in the future. Alright? Thanks for watching.